previously on Tower Prep. What is this place? Please. You can achieve more than you can imagine at Tower Prep, Ian. You seem different than all the other teachers here. I heard you ran into the Muffer team. Consider joining? I'm not a team player. Yet. What are those things, guards? I like to call them gnomes because we don't like to think about whatever they might be. They choke me. You in the combat zone. That's all, Rice. The coach. I said that's all. And that last score by Cal Rice gives them a comfortable lead as we head into our final minutes of play. Goal team leads with 32. White will need to generate more turnovers if they hope to mount a comeback. And here we go. Teams are set for the faceoff. Come on, Cal! Double team! Watch for Red and White to double team Cal Rice. He's been a threat to score every time he touches the rock. And the lock is dropped. Battle for possession. It gets knocked into gold territory. The gold defender clears it. Oh! Oh! And with a pickup. Boom! And he's on check by Rice. Rice takes it into the red zone. Gains speed. And oh, yes. absolutely trucks the white defender. Rice with some space in the corner. Oh. And what a hit by Briggs. Cal, what are you doing? Shoot the rock! Right, you the <laughs> Man, she's so into everything, bummer. Looks like Rice is okay. Shoving between the gold and white teams here, but the ref breaks it up. Sure, it's not Cal she's into. A couple minutes left to play. Gold continues to win the time of possession. Man, that creep picked a fight with me right here on my first day. I was just trying to get to orientation. The red team has been unable get in to cope with the size and speed of the hey, gold offense. Prevent. Substitution gold. Looks like coach is looking to hold his lead by adding an extra defender. I don't care if you get ejected. You take out Cal Rice. I take you out. Now go. Substitution, red. Man, why does Suki get the best work study job ever? I have to work in the library. And we are set for face off. <laughs> the rock is dropped. Rice takes control of the combat zone. Cal, what are you doing? Go high on his blade side. Wallace with the steal. Oh, he's not banded by the gold defense. I'm rooting for Coach History's team. If he wins, maybe we'll get less homework tomorrow. Man, this game has failed. It makes no sense. What? Dude, this is the first buffer game you've ever watched. By red Buddy, I'm just saying, imagine how random the designated hitter rule would be for someone who's never watched baseball. Come on. Tries to pass to swinger. And he hits the white wall. Gold's got the loose ball. A beautiful Get pass. Rice with the breakaway. He fires. Time running out, this is the final nail in the red team's coffin. Great. Tack on another hour of history homework tomorrow. Coach History Squad remains winless for the last yes. 10 and has taken a double loss for most of the season. Due to that man right there, Cal Rice. He's so good. She's right. He is good. Please. What? Look, let's be real, all right? Cal can be a real jerk sometimes, yes. When it comes to him being a buffer player, Pretty awesome, dude. Not sure if there's time for another face-off, but the ref is calling for the teams to get set in the combat zone. They line up. Get and there's the buzzer. Rice and the gold team still undefeated. Nice. Dude, we're so awful, we're never gonna win a game. Student Lounge shows a replay of the game at 9. We just saw it. Cal's whole team is going. The goal for every play, you could learn a lot about the game. Why don't we just cruise by and check her out? Mm, she's not really that into Buffer. Doesn't seem like there's much to it. Too bad. Everything I've learned in life, I've learned from Buffer. Hmm. Everything I learned in life comes from begging people not to beat me up. On one play, your opponent is your teammate. And on the next, trying to bring you down. Gotta think fast as to who your friends are. Yeah, I can see why it's only played at Tower Prep. It's just like the school. The more I learn about it, the weirder it gets. <laughs> Classic. Hey, I'll shower, then meet you over there? Mm-hmm. Mm, cow. I love Buffer so much.
Dude, CJ wanted you to go. She just wanted to listen to Cal talk about Buffer. I'd rather go back to the room and stick forks in my head. <laughs> nice. Can I do one? Yeah, get your own head. <laughs> Dude, but seriously, CJ asked you to go. If she was into Cal that much, she probably wouldn't have asked you in the first place. All right? And I think that's why Cal doesn't like you. I think he thinks that CJ is into you. All I know is, you don't go, Cal gets a one-up on you. Without a fight. You're right. Where's Coach History gone? Into the Forbidden Zone. Well, maybe if we follow him, we can find out why the Forbidden Zone is forbidden. Come on. Yeah, you know what? Why don't we just let him be, you know? He's probably just answering nature's call. Okay. Come on. Every time. Come on, come on. He's still gonna go. He's still gonna go. They're going after Coach History. I've never seen a gnome go after a teacher before. There's never been a reason. I gotta warn him. No, 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 because no. then they'll know we're here too. And get ready to motor. Coach, look out! Oh, oh. That way, safety's this way. Come on, Gabe, go, dude. I'm not gonna leave without you. Come on, man. Come on, come on. Look, we saw the gnomes take him into the Forbidden Zone. Yeah, and if we have a sub in here for history, then you know what happened. Gnomes are the school's security force, right? Coach History went into the Forbidden Zone. Why wouldn't they police teachers, too? Gnomes exist to keep students in Tower Proud. Was Coach History trying to get out? You know what I think? I think we'll never find out because I think he'll never be seen again. And that's what I think. Oh, nope. I think he's right over there. dark out there, guys. Just be glad Coach History wasn't hurt. Work study is a way for students to get paid with tower credits to spend any way they want on stuff at the school store. Now, you hadn't been assigned a work study job yet because I was busy pulling strings to get you this one. Buffer Equipment Manager. You'll keep the locker room and the bathroom neat, maintain equipment, store the gear. A good equipment manager allows the players to maintain their focus on executing their roles on the court during the game. You pulled strings so I could wash Cal Rice's jock strap? <laughs> you know, next time I see my mom, I am definitely gonna tell her how sorry I am for ever being such a pig with my laundry. I thought Coach liked me, you know? I mean, on my first day, I thought we totally hit it off. Of course Coach likes you. And that's how he shows it? By making me a butler to some dumb buffer players? I hate to see what he does to the kids he doesn't like. You know, no other teacher has offered up anything to us. And if he doesn't, then he's no better than any of them. Can I just say, it takes a lot of intelligence to be a good buffer player. 
Is that putting me down or defending Cal? Take the shaft. Again? Yeah, I heard you. Take the shaft. Ian. I want to beat his team so bad. I can't, though. Not with the players I got. All right, Ian, here's my story. I'm a history teacher who also coaches. There are a lot of teachers who want to coach, and since my Buffer team has missed the playoffs so many seasons in a row because of losing to Cal, I will lose my position in the rotation as a Buffer coach if my team doesn't make it this year. Can you help me out? I don't know how to play Buffer. With your skill, You'll learn quick. You can be like three players instead of one. How do you know about my skill? All the coaches receive a scouting report on every new student before they arrive. I could pull a few strings, too. I could make it so that your work-study program is to practice and play buffer for me. You can wash jocks or wear one. After that last game, why'd you go in the woods? <laughs> I'm sick of losing to Cal Rice and Coach. I was angry, and I didn't want to lose it in front of people, so I go off into the woods. You see any gnomes in the woods? Gnomes don't bother me. I never do anything wrong. Well, I appreciate that you even admit they exist. Headmaster, all the faculty, they deny it. Even after you hung a gnome helmet on a flagpole? Can I think about it? Yeah, but not too long. There's only one regular season game left. One game? All this for one game? Well, I mean, I don't know, Coach. Me being so new here and all, you know? Everybody knows me and Cal are practically rivals. I mean, it would be so humiliating to fail. Greg says he overheard Coach History ask the towel boy to play buffer. Right, towel boy? Huh? Hope not. Because I need me a clean towel. Oh, I get it. You're not answering me because you know what I'm going to say before I say it? <laughs> Am I right? Towel boy, you a mind reader? Oh. oh. Well, actually, I'm seeing the future right now. I see me giving you a schooling in manners for calling me towel boy. Where do you see this schooling happening? Hmm? Can't be during a buffer game. You're too afraid to play. You know, I'm not too sure exactly. Because right now, I'm seeing it happening all over campus. One spot you don't see it in the woods, just outside this building, in five minutes.
Bring it. You always got your team around you? I thought this was just you and me. Let's do this. Go, 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 Guys, Coach History just asked me to join his buffer team. And then Cal and I got into this thing. Wait, what? Yeah, we went to the woods behind the buffer arena, Cal and three of his buddies. But nothing happened, because gnomes showed up and chased Cal and his goons away. Cal Rice fought off the gnomes? How does chased off gnomes become fought off? I mean, hello, who stuck a gnome helmet on top of a flagpole? Gnomes let you walk while in the Forbidden Zone, just like they did for Coach History? Mm. One? Coach History in the Forbidden Zone, the gnomes let him go. Two, Coach asked me to join the buffer team. And three, Cal and his goons try and jump me and the gnomes chase them away, but let me go. So what are you saying? That Coach History is a gnome? We're not even positive gnomes are human. We need to know more. First, we need to prove he's connected in any way, no matter what gnomes are. Just being asked and making the team, half the hard work is done, getting him to trust me. We don't know if he's connected to the gnomes. Maybe they're using him. Maybe it's a trap to get you, the guy who put a gnome helmet on the flagpole. Okay, look, I mean, here's the deal. We're at this school. Why? They say that we're here to develop our skills, but are we developing them for us or for something they want to use? Now we're gonna find out whatever the threat, why we're here and make sure we're not being trained for something we don't want to be. You know, maybe we use the tunnels to get into Coach History's office and search for something there that, that'll prove that he's even involved with the gnomes. But we haven't found any tunnels that lead to that part of campus yet. Whatever. We all think you've got crazy courage going into a dangerous situation. But even, like, spies have support teams. It's a team effort. Don't rush in. We'll work together to see if your plan is safe, Ian. Together. Anyone seen Cal Rice or anyone on the gold team? You could have taken his head off. Not much of a loss. Looking for me? Yeah, clean up the locker room. That's your job, tall boy. Well, it seems like you can't do anything without your team around you, so why don't you go get them too? Are you looking to finish what we started, tall boy? It's not the place. No doubt. Not so tough without your gnome dudes around to protect you. I stood up to him. You ran away. Hey, you two, knock it off! Let's go pull them apart! This is not over! Yes, it is. I see or hear of you two throwing down again. You get sent straight to West Campus. No buffer, no anything. We're gonna finish this right here on this court. Sorry, Coach. The Russo-Japanese War was a conflict for control of Korea. Now, I need you to remember this day. Archer, this can wait. No, it can't. I'm in. Well, you're right. That news couldn't wait. Welcome to the Red Team, Ian. Coach History's still in his office at this hour? He's drawing up buffer plays. We'll have to prove he's connected to the gnomes in order to have any effect. Headmaster won't acknowledge their existence, even after Ian put the helmet on the flagpole. 
We need evidence Headmaster can't deny. I only see two sets of X's and O's. Hey, maybe those are the maneuvers that the gnomes make through the school. We can't prove he's connected to the gnomes unless we can find proof in his office. Uh, how do we get in there? Tomorrow night, we should try and find a passage through the tunnels. From our building to his office. Well, that sounds good. But we're just gonna have to do it after my buffer practice. What? I know. I know what we said, CJ, but a chance came up and I grabbed it. But this gives us two paths we can take. You said you wouldn't play buffer. But now your plan and mine can work together. No, you're doing this so you can beat Cal. You're using playing buffer undercover so that you can get at Cal. Why would I do that? I mean, I don't have anything against Cal. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, I mean, maybe a little, but it has nothing to do with playing buffer. So, what's the deal with tomorrow? Tell me your plan, CJ, and I promise you I'll be here right after practice. Listen, stay square, ball. All right, let's go, line it up, face off. Good stuff, kid. Where is he? Ian's buffer practice ended close to an hour ago. He said he'd be here by now. Outstanding! Nice job, guys. All right, let's get on the line. Let's do 10 speed drills, and we'll call it a night. Oh, Coach, I think we should run it again. We're already an hour over practice, and I've got some uh, teacher stuff I have to prepare for tomorrow's classes. I'll run the drill. All right. Get some rest. Let's set it up again. Again. Hey, we're here, all right? Cal Rice is doing his homework. Now we're gonna run it until we get it right. Go, man. Looks like gnome lights. I don't see any, but they must be in there. Where is Ian? I knew this would happen. Let's get over there. And do what? Right now, get a picture with our PDAs, photographic evidence. Spread it through Whisper, show it around, expose history as the leader of the secret police. Mm, yeah, CJ, I, I love your enthusiasm personally, but we should probably just wait for Ian to get back and let him decide if that's what he wants There's to do. There's no time to wait for Ian. Our chance to catch Coach History with the gnomes could end at any minute. We could really use Ian's pre-flexibility in martial arts. We have abilities? <laughs> CJ! You read micro-emotions. What are you gonna do? You gonna tell us how happy they are when they're beating us up? Ian hasn't found a passageway that leads to Coach History's office building. We'd have to cross campus in the open. But I say we just go. Run over to that building. Let them try and catch us. Lead the security monitors to Coach History and the gnomes. I just, I love when you come up with these real unemotional, carefully thought out meticulous plans of yours. They're so great. Thanks, Gabe. Now, let's go. All right, nice practice. Red on three. One, two, three. Red! Security breach. Security breach. 
Building 7. Security breach. Security breach. Building 7. Security breach. Security breach. Building 7. Come on! Go find Ian! Oh, this is gonna hurt! That's gonna leave a mark. Oh, okay, alright! Hey, I'm not resisting! Hey, be careful with that cardigan. Alright, hey, hey, you know what? Let me tell you something. For someone, Ian, Ian, you alone? Can I come in there? No, there's naked guys in here. Can you come out here? No, I'm one of the naked guys. Ian, get out here. We need help. Gabe, you can come in. Archer, get out here now. Hang on, coach. They're in trouble. CJ went up to Coach History's room. I haven't seen Gabe. I think they caught him. Why didn't she wait? I gotta get her out. Stay here in the shadows. Stay down. Okay. His laser projector was broken. It's a Pico laser. Three, really. Red, blue, and green laser, able to project anywhere. Always in focus. I just had to replace the red and blue laser. Done. Now, what are you two doing running to my office? I thought I saw green lights in the room. I thought there might be gnomes in here. What, you think that I hang out with gnomes? Help them with their homework or something? We thought you might be in trouble. CJ and I just wanted to help, you know, if, if you needed any. Look, Coach, can we just go? If it's to bed, to get some rest. Tomorrow's huge. Where's Suki and Gabe? Suki's out front. I don't know where Gabe is. You left him alone. Where were you? You were supposed to be in the observatory. Yeah, after practice. You were over an hour late. We needed you. You said you'd be there. All right. I did. I'm sorry. But I was busy working on my plan. 
You were practicing buffer so you can beat Cal. Well, your plan is dead now. He suspects you. He's gonna have eyes on you at all times. Not during a buffer game. <laughs> <laughs> no classic mix-up. Yeah. Oh, hey, guys. This is Tram. This is Abram. I've convinced them to escort us back to the dorm and let us free, right? Yeah. Right? Uh -huh. Right, right, right. In the office, he was working on some electronics, not the laser projector. He covered it with his jacket as soon as he could, but I could read that he was worried I'd see it. He's hiding something in that room. And tomorrow night is the game of Coach History's life. We know he won't be suddenly showing up in his office for three hours. The whole school will be distracted. I'm playing in the game. I, I can't go. Me neither. I have work study. If I'm not there, the game doesn't get broadcast to the school. Faculty will look for me. But it's perfect. While you and Suki are keeping Coach History focused on and at the game, Gabe and I will get into his office and find the evidence we need to prove he's connected to the gnomes. <laughs> How are you going to get in? Well, I've been working on an app for our PDAs that cycle all possible law combinations. Huh? That's the best shot we're going to have. If you lose the game, he's out as buffer coach. But you wanted me to have a backup plan. Now, you going in without Suki and me goes against everything you said. You were able to see there's more than one path to take. So did I. It's just now, I'm on your path and you're on mine. Hot stuff. Hey, hey, hey. You ready for this? Oh. Or walk away. Walk away. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Dan Maxwell, and welcome to the Tower Prep Buff Arena. We have quite the fan turnout tonight for this last regular season game as excitement ramps up for the playoffs. Tonight is the last game of the regular season. Wins by the red or white team will dramatically alter their playoff positions. With the addition of newcomer Ian Archer, Red may pull off an upset. If Archer can stand up to the unstoppable Cal Wright. The coaches meet for a pregame handshake. There's no love lost at center court. Each man wants to finish the season with a bang. All right, focus, gentlemen. Here we go. White team is challenged with an injury in the week of Sean Jensen's shoulder. To compensate, he might see some double defender packages or isolation plays. Coach likely counting on Cal Rice to take an early lead, forcing Red and White into low percentage shots. I expect Coach History to mix things up with some new formations, using Ian Archer's speed to get to the slot. I know what you were looking for last night, so I'm going to make you this offer. Win now, beat this team, and I'll tell you all I know about the Knolls. Let's do this now! Team circle the combat zone as we get set to start the match. Rice, Adams, and Archer lined up. The circles are set for the face-off. The referee makes his final checks. Ready? And the rock is dropped. Archer is leveled by a brutal hit by Rice. Red Center has the ball on the outside. He lost the archer spin move. Ooh. Ooh. Looks like Cal Rice is out for some red team blood. He clears the ball, but takes a hard check after the pass. Rice has it in the circle. Attaboy, Archer! Ooh. And that is a vicious hit on Rice by Ian Archer. by the white team goalie. Adam flips it to the white center in the corner. Goal enforcer flows it in. Wow! He goes flying. Bodies go flying as goal clears.
Use out the white rock. There we go, there we go. Let's go. This is the projector. This is the thing he was working on. What is this? Oh. Ah. Ah. <laughs> we gotta go. We gotta go. Security breach. Security breach. Faculty residence. Security breach. Security breach. Faculty residence. No one's in the school. You go to the bathroom if you need to. Thanks, Vicky. I'm okay. Go to the bathroom. Well, friends, two paths appear to be crossing tonight. Who will tread the path to, um, Loss, and defeat, and capture? Listen, when I recruited you, I thought you'd beat Cal Rice. How was I to know that you can't even score on a bunch of losers? Now get in there and put one in the goal. Let's go now, Ian. Teams line up for the face-off. I win this. Right here, towel boy. Don't worry, Cal. The pain will go away one day. Yours won't. Your pain will be mental. You're gonna have to live knowing that you can never beat me, towel boy. The score remains tied at zero all. The ball is dropped. <laughs> Coach! Coach! No, no. Archer looks injured after that hit. What's wrong? Get back in there. It's my wrist. I can't move it. I can play if I take it. Go. Substitution red. Go. Last period. White team intercepts a wayward pass. I would much rather get caught by the monitors outside, but there's no way they were getting past the gnomes in the hall. We gotta go. Got this. Go to the arena. Okay. Great check by right. off at center court. And with time winding down in our overtime period, this next possession is critical. The first team to score will win the game. And the rock is dropped. Right to the grab. Oh, thank goodness. 
Where's the end? There he is. Oh, good. Come on, get in there. Too late. Four! Four! Sir! Now! Now! Go! 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 Substitution red. Right to fall. He's got to beat on the red team goal. He winds up for the shot. <laughs> oh, and he's left by Arthur. No. Unbelievable! The loose ball bounces into the goal. It's all over, folks. Rice scores the game winner, and the goal team takes it at the buzzer. And that will do it, ladies and gentlemen. What an incredible game to end the season. I look forward to seeing you in the playoffs. Yeah, we did this, we did this. <laughs> this is Dan Maxwell signing yeah. off. Thank you. Cal. Oh. Nice game, you. First game? You know, I think you do have something special. I think a lot of people at Tower Prep believe that. Thanks, Coach. Thanks. Good game. Now you'll never know. You may need me to win, but I don't need you to know. I'm not sure. I think we need another component. But... I think it's used in the gnomes' helmets to communicate with each other. Like, it translates electronic signals. I can't be sure unless we have a gnome helmet to hook it up to. Well, at least if we had one, we would know what they were saying to each other when they make that annoying noise we hear all the time. Sure, no worries. I mean, after dinner, we'll go out, jump a couple gnomes, rip off their helmets. <laughs> but first, I gotta finish my homework. <laughs> of course. I know, we all know that you could have won that game. We know what you did for us and this team. Well, I will admit, I did learn a few things about life while playing Buffer. It's hard to walk two paths at the same time. I hear voices in that. Human. We can receive, but can't transmit. I'll try the signal amplifier. Those voices aren't just human. students. Gnomes are tower prep students. <laughs>